Hi, my name is Paul Heaps. I'm from Real Property Management Southwest Michigan. And today we are going to talk about how to avoid bad tenants. Um, property management uh, can be a very rewarding um, uh, investment. Uh, can also be very rewarding uh, emotionally. Um, a lot of people, it's, it's nice to buy properties and it feels good. Um, but at the end of the day, if you end up with bad tenants, um, it can be uh, just the opposite. It can be kind of a nightmare. So um, we generally go under the philosophy that it's better to have an empty property than it is to have a bad tenant. Um, bad tenants can be very uh, costly, and some of those costs can include, obviously, lost rent, uh, physical damage to the property if they actually um, tear up the place, that type of thing. Um, and then one that a lot of people may not think about is um, there's lost rent and problems with other tenants in the same property. So if it's a multi-unit building and you've got a bad tenant, um, that can drive out some of your other good tenants. So um, bad tenants can, can uh, have lots of cost and it can go even beyond um, their specific tenancy. Number one, our recommendation in order to get good tenants is to have a well cared for property. Um, a property that's uh, neat, clean, well-kept usually attracts tenants that are neat, clean, and well-kept. So um, that's number one. The second thing is to have a good screening uh, procedure in place. And when I say screening, typically that includes um, uh, screening for uh, credit history, uh, criminal history, uh, rental history, um, employment verification, um, and a number of different items like that so that, that you can get as much data as possible about the prospective tenant um, and then if there are any early warning signs you can you can uh, either inquire about them or, or, or decline the tenant if you if you have to the final thing I would say and this is what we hear from a lot of landlords that come to us and they have a, a, a troubled tenant um, a lot of them say they just went kind of on their gut feeling uh, and that can be a problem so uh, my suggestion is don't just go on your gut sometimes you can be surprised um, run the credit report, run the, run the history, and, and make sure you've got uh, the tenant that you're looking for. Uh, thank you very much.